Hello Haunters, Yard Hunter 5 here of Steve's Haunted Yard. And yes, I have not vlogged for like three or four days. What is going on? I'm going to have to cut back on my vlogs a little bit. I know I'm up and down about it. Right now with school starting, it's going to be really hard with the kids to vlog and do all the stuff with the kids. So basically, my vlogs will still be all about Halloween. So yes, they'll be less frequent, but more Halloween-y, if that's at all possible. Do you like my thermal, ghost thermalness? <laughs> so, um, I've been really busy. This vlog will be about me finishing my uh, clown prop, my rocking clown prop. But let me know what you think. Okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. I haven't vlogged in a few days. I had some pants that I bought on it. These are. This is a really good costume pair of pants. So this is going to be, you know, a prop that's in the dark with a piece of material that I cut out in the general shape of a pair of pants and I'm going to put it on here to make legs and then this is a hat I got at the Dollar Tree that I just tore up and let me show you what it's going to look like when I put it on there in just a second. Hold on. Okay, so this is not hot glued down but this is basically the legs with just the blue cloth thrown over it and this hat from the Dollar Tree that I, I cut into two pieces that was a clown hat. So those will be the legs that will go on this guy. So now I will have the pants that came with this jacket and I could do it, make another prop because I have another shirt that went with this mask and I'll have two full costumes by just making some on this prop. I'm going to hot glue this stuff down and then we'll see the results after that's done. Alright, here are the legs with the cloth hot glued on to be able to save my good costume pants. And I've also, since last video, I think you didn't see his arms in this position, um, trying to get these arms positioned in a good way. This one, this arm here is probably going to have this lollipop and this arm is going to have this axe like that. And of course he rocks, you know, back and forth. This is also a newer mask that wasn't on there. I don't know about the head rotation spinning around thing. Um, I'll, I'll still think about that, but I think it looks more like a real person if he's just rocking forward with the hair. And tomorrow I'm actually going to Carlin's for just a little bit to work on painting his Axe Killer Door prop, so maybe I'll have a post on that after we go do that tomorrow. So this guy's looking pretty good. I got a pretty sexy leg. Those are my legs. Look at that. Nice. Okay, I really wanted to get this finished. I know I set it for tonight, but I went ahead and made these hands out of hot glue sticks and wire and duct tape. And I'm actually sticking them inside this glove. So that's the first one that's holding the axe. Right there. This one will be holding the lollipop down there. So let me get this put inside the glove and show you the finished dude. Did I scare you? So here he is, in all his glory. He maybe, 
you know, attach the, the jacket out to the pants there. But I think the, uh, it looks really good with the axe and the hands and the Devin throwing paper wads at me and the lollipop and the little stripy leggies and everything. I like it. So, I don't know guys, the spinny head, but tell me what you think about this instead, without the spinny head. I think it looks pretty freaking awesome. Comments, questions, concerns? In the doobly do. As Honey John always says, get your home on.